Let's talk today about what do we mean or what is cancer. Well, cancer just means uncontrolled cell division. So we understand now that, or, or we could even say uncontrolled cell growth, okay? We understand now that mitosis is, is cell division, right? Where one cell becomes two, and that's a necessary process for repair, for growth. But when, when cancer occurs is when the normal constraints of cell division are not working. Let's talk about how the cell or how the, the body or tissues normally control cell division. Well, essentially we can look at it from positive and negative control. So over here, we'll talk about proto-oncogenes. And these are, these are normal forms of genes. These, I'm going to have a positive sign. In other words, these promote cell division when it's necessary. So this is in, in the normal cell cycle when repair is needed, when growth is needed, these genes are going to promote a cell through cell division. Okay, on the opposite side of the coin here, we have on, on the negative side, we have tumor suppressor genes. Okay, these are normal. And these are going to, um, we'll, we'll put a little negative sign here. We're going to say these are going to suppress cell division. So these work together in the cell cycle. In other words, we have sort of an on switch and an off switch. So these are going to work together to make sure that cell division occurs when it should, but it doesn't occur when it shouldn't. Now, one additional thing that I want to say about tumor suppressor genes um, not only is it looking at do we need cell division or not, but this particular cell, is it in, a, is it in good shape? Is, is the DNA damaged? Um, if so, then maybe there needs to be some repair before this cell can go through cell division. So it, it's a, it has a checkpoint there to make sure that cell can, can actually be a healthy cell to enter cell division. So remember that we, a cell division, we, take, we start with one cell, right? At the end of that, we have two daughter cells. So the proto-oncogenes then in the normal cellular process are going to promote this to occur, okay? The tumor suppressor genes then are going to say, no, we, we're going to stop this cell division from occurring. So they, they work in conjunction to keep the cell cycle regulated. Cell division only occurs when it should. Now let's switch gears and say, okay, well, what happens in this, in this process so that we have uncontrolled cell growth? Well, Cell um, cancer occurs when mutations, one or multiple mutations occur on either side of this so that the division or the control of the division is no longer the way it should be. So if we have a mutation in a proto-oncogene, we now call this an oncogene, which would be the cancer-causing form because okay, it's been mutated. And this would, you could think of this as a proto-oncogene is an on switch that can be controlled, right? It's turned on when it's needed, it's turned off when it's not. An oncogene is like when that light, that switch is on and it can't be shut off. So it's promoting cell division even when it shouldn't occur. Now we can also have mutations occur on the other side, okay? a mutation to a tumor suppressor gene. And in this case, essentially what we get is we get a non-functional tumor suppressor gene, meaning that off switch doesn't work, right? This particular gene, the mutation causes it, the protein product of that gene, not to be able to turn off the cell cycle or not to be able to indicate this cell has damaged DNA. It needs to be repaired before it goes through the process. So as you can see, if a mutation occurs on either side of the, of the checkpoint, it can cause uncontrolled growth. Okay. I want to mention to you an example of a tumor suppressor gene. It's called P53, and it's named that based on the molecular weight of the protein. We find this in over half 
of cancerous cells or tumors. And it makes sense because once there is a mutation in a tumor suppressor gene like p53 that can no longer say, wait a minute, there's an error here, there's a damage in the DNA, then you see that if, if cells with damaged DNA go through the cell division process, then that allows for more and more mutations to accumulate, which can lead to tumors or cancer. Now, the last thing that I want to mention to you, something that you probably are already a little bit familiar with, whoops, the BRCA1 and 2 genes that we know are related to breast cancer and ovarian cancers, as well as some other cancers also. Okay, these are mutated forms of tumor suppressor genes. And the, the, these are genes that we can inherit, right? So that in our lifetime, we can accumulate mutations, right? So we, we are exposed to, you know, chemicals or UV radiation or things like that, that that can cause mutations in our DNA as we go through our life. But these particular genes, what we're looking at is mutations that we actually get, that we inherit from our parents. So by inheriting one mutation, right, we're already one step closer if we inherit this particular mutated form to accumulating more mutations that can lead to cancer. Inheriting, inheriting these does not in any way mean that you will develop cancer. It just means that you have already inherited one mutation in this particular gene.